What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the next matchup that Team USA had uh, facing none other than Japan here in the CW Olympics. I'm sorry, guys. This event is so much fun. Win or, win or lose, this event is so much fun getting together with people from your country and warring other countries. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. But as you guys see on the screen right there, USA walking away with the victory, 146 to 138 was the final, a solid eight-star victory. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out uh, a pair of Town Hall 9 attacks before we get into the heavy hitter action. But I will let you guys know this was a big improvement, huge improvement uh, compared to what our stats were against Team Russia. But this war, guys, we had 12 10v10 three-stars, CWO Japan, putting up nine, so both. I mean, a combined 21 10v10s this war. Uh, both sides very, very well. Team USA doing a little bit better, picked up three more 10v10 three stars. A big difference in these, these high, I mean, these high octane, high uh, competitive wars is coming down to, to the 11v11 three stars, you guys. Uh, and this war we were able to pick up two, so every single war we've been able to execute at least one 11 11 three star. So this war we picked up two, CW Japan, they went 0 for 3, they were not able to pick up an 11 11. But even with or without those, we would have gotten this victory. I will say though, our Town Hall 9 game hitting under 60% for the hit rate, so we only had two scouts, that's it, we had two scouts. So quite a few of these 10v10 three stars were actually done fresh. Uh, CWO Japan was the complete opposite. Whereas they had, I think, what, 9, 10, 11, something like that, maybe 12 scouts. But as you guys know, it always is going to come down to how the Town Hall 10s perform and how the Town Hall 11s perform. We were able to clear 10s. CWO Japan was not able to do so. But we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the attacks. I got a pair of Town Hall 9 attacks to show you guys what you've been watching on the screen right now. Is, is an epic HGHB coming from none other than Griswold. So I got two Town Hall 9 attacks for you, four 10v10 three stars to show you guys, and two 11v11 triples. So we will go ahead. Uh, this one's pretty much wrapped up. Griswold pretty much has this one in the bag right here. Notice his, his kill squad kind of went down the left side of the base, meeting up uh, down at the bottom. The hogs coming from the right side of the base, and they're pretty much just all meeting up right here down at the bottom of the base look still has both king and queen of bills we're talking about this hhb ran town hall nine for months and months and months i'd say what maybe a year and a half maybe two years ago you hardly ever see the attack but the dude uh he's killing it with hhb uh but yeah huge shout out to griswold getting it done uh so that was his hhb attack we'll go ahead and take a look at one more, this this one coming from Ice Cold Debro, uh, another very unique attack that we do not see all the time. Uh, and this one was actually done fresh. So if you guys look, one thing you'll notice, another thing that we don't see a lot, pretty much at any town hall level, is that quad quake. Uh, but wait till you guys see the value that he's going to be getting when he drops down these earthquakes. So Queen is down, she's gonna go ahead and take out those storages. Uh, I actually wasn't too sure if she was going to be pathing up or if she was going to be pathing down. We all know uh, that Supercell has been tinkering uh, with the Archer Queen AI. Luckily, she went down, though, where, he, where he's uh, going to go ahead and drop down that rage. What he wants to do is enter in uh, to that 6 o'clock compartment down there. He wants to enter down there. You can see King just doing uh, a very small Kiwi walk over there down uh, on the bottom right-hand side, just clearing that trash. And you'll see Queen is locked onto the Expo. Uh, already had some queen on queen action. The good queen won, bad queen lost. Uh, and what he's gonna do, if you guys see inside that core, you can't see him yet, but there are, uh, there or there is a Tesla farm inside that core. So what he's gonna do is go ahead and drop down that quad quake. There it goes, opening up pretty much the entire rest of this base uh, where he can get to uh, the remaining air defenses. We already know he took out enemy CC. Already took out enemy queen. Look, he's even his king somehow over there on the upper right-hand side now. Somehow that queen made it all the way up to 3 o'clock. But here comes a Lolo. That's coming in over at 9. Went ahead and dropped down a CC Hound. About four balloons behind it to take out that air defense. And you'll see here comes the, the rest of the flight portion coming in from the top of the map. 
uh, where he does have, he went ahead and used one rage, uh, or the second rage for the queen as she's making her way into the core. Still has a haste spell left to deploy, being nice and patient. Wants to make sure that he's going to take out that expo uh, and make sure he gets down the, the two remaining air defenses. Uh, but there goes that haste spell to push him in from the expo into the last air defense. He, dropped, he went ahead and dropped three more balloons over at three o'clock to take out the air defense over there. And nothing but cleanup, you guys. That was going to do it for this one. Like I said, our Tahoe Nines did not perform how they normally do, but luckily we're able to make it up. We we're able to make up the difference with our performance at the Town Hall 10 level. So we'll go ahead and jump right into that. And we have a true villain right here, AKA Hero. Uh, he's gonna be coming in doing, he's gonna be doing a solid uh, queen charge, mass hog attack, AKA Queen Ho. And the dude also six pack. And I loved the goblin touch. No, if you guys missed it, he dropped three goblins down to take out uh, that DE storage and they took it out in a matter of seconds. But here we go, we got Queen down, healers behind her. What he wants to do uh, is kind of walk her around the bottom of this base. Uh, you can see she's over here at about eight o'clock right now. What he wants to do is walk her, um, he wants to go ahead and walk her down to six, up to about four, 430. And what was incredible about this attack, you guys, is how long this queen charge lasted for. It was almost as if this queen charge was not going to end, but here we go, look at that. Sniped the baby dragon right out of the sky. Could not believe that when I saw it. Two more puffs from that baby dragon, and those healers would have been down. He was able to salvage it. Uh, he did drop those two poisons, went ahead and took out the witch. He didn't get the full CC pull from the beginning, uh, but uh, notice those witches were coming out a little bit later. Dropped down that poison, took him out, no problem. So here we go. Notice he drops down a giant to take that cannon. Uh, and here comes the wall breakers. Like I said, he wants to charge into this compartment right here. Uh, and he has one more rage spell left to deploy. So he's used three rage. He's been using three rages on this charge and two heal spells for the hogs. And you'll see she uh, she's kind of round back. Like I said, the AI has been a little funky. She's gonna round back, took out the Archer Tower, gonna go back into that compartment where she can now reach those two Wizard Towers. Here comes the next Rage, as he did have the Expo locked onto her. He can't, uh, he doesn't wanna start the Hogs too early. He wants to make sure he gets that Queen. But check this out, you guys. Look at how much of this base is left up. 57 seconds to get through the rest of this base. Let's see how uh, Hero manages to do this. So here we have the Queen on Queen action. Beautiful timing. On that, not only does he, get, does he get that bomb tower before the hogs get to it, but he takes out the enemy queen. And up there at the top at 12 o'clock, he did do uh, a classic, you know, just uh, BK, just a BK swap. Went ahead and took that out. That way the hogs don't have to deal with it. But here we go, you guys. Look at this. One more heal spell left to the point. This charge, this charge lasted about two minutes. 50% of the base was still left up and Hero was able to get it done. Starting that cleanup nice and early, having the queen survive also helped. And look at how many troops, yeah, he still has his BK up there. Uh, like I said, it was just a classic BK, uh, BK swap up there at the top, getting it done. Hero wrecking bases with that queen ho. All right, next up we have Lexnos. And while we watch, while we watch this attack, look down at the troop bar, you guys, please. Please look down the troop bar. When was the last time you saw a 10v10 using the big dragons? Uh, clearly, he found the weakness in this base and he will be exposing it. So look at the values me getting from this queen. Already took out one air defense. Uh, he used that giant to distract the defenses while he went ahead and dropped down the wall breakers, popped the wall. King cleared the trash to make sure the queen would go in. So Pop's ability gets an archer tower, goes in and takes out that cannon, even gonna go ahead and get that inner uh, air defense and even the expo, you guys, as the CC is coming out. But here we go, dragons coming in. Uh, he has eight dragons he's, he's bringing to this attack, baby dragon to the left side, just doing, uh, you know, just doing a little bit of funneling to make sure that those dragons head into the core of this base, you guys. And uh, notice there's 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 no lightning spells, there's no uh, you know there's no zap quake, there's no clone spell. Uh, just doing rages and heals, and you'll see he does have two haste spells over here on the far uh, on the far left hand side. Bring in CC loons, 
to go ahead and take out that air defense. Go ahead and grab that inner air defense. Those two expos uh, to the right and to the left of the clan castle are actually both on ground. Uh, but here comes that raid spell to try to push those loons into that sweeper to go ahead and take it out. And he even has that geared up archer tower down there in the, the, the six o'clock corner inside this core. So the core has pretty much been taken out. Like I said, that expo is on ground, not doing a damn thing. And here we go. Look at the dragons. Even though they did not make the, make it into the core, not even sure. I think they started chasing the CC. Uh, they didn't even make it into the core, but not going to matter. And check this out. Haste fell down at six, followed up with four more balloons. And there goes another haste fell. Those loons are going to end up taking out the last two defenses. Nothing but cleanup. Loved it, guys. I mean, when was the last time you saw a 10v10 using these big dragons? Definitely missed that meta. Uh, rest in peace to that meta. But Lex knows doing his best to bring it back. Absolutely love that attack. All right, next we have a simple 2.0. The uh, the fresh, the, the 10v10 fresh master. Here we go. Jump spell down. And look at this. He loves these bases that have kind of this uh, entering in where there's this like this inlet on that that L compartment right there where that jump spell will lead everything into the core. Doesn't even bother, doesn't even need wall breakers. He can get right into the core with just a jump spell using that rage uh, and um, using that rage and using that jump spell for the kill squad. Gets everything that he needs. Uh, took out the enemy queen, the enemy CC. He even took out the enemy BK on that entry. Hogs coming in, starting down at the bottom. Uh, and he also is going to be having hogs coming out of the CC. Three heal spells he will be using on the ground portion uh, to this attack. And you'll see they're going to be clumping up on all these point defenses. Though, uh, and you have a wizard tower or two wizard towers up there. And those three archer towers. We have the CC hogs coming in at 9 o'clock. They took out the Tessa. They're all going to clump up. I mean, pretty much all clump up right there on that Inferno Tower. They're pretty much going to one-shot that Wizard Tower. Still has one more heal spell left to deploy. And there it goes, covering each and every last one of these defenses. And even start to clean up nice and early, too, where he does have a couple Wizards down there. We'll go ahead and times to this. We already know what the outcome of this attack is going to be. Simple 2.0, getting it done with uh, classic Shattered, uh, Shattered Goho. Absolutely loved it. No, no, Shattered Hobo. There we go. Shattered Hobo. Simple 2.0. Absolutely love it. All right, guys. Next up, we have Robbie. Uh, is this Robbie or is this Agent? I'm not too sure. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and watch this attack. So on this one, we're going to be doing a classic Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, and check this out. Very unique. I mean, usually when you're doing the Sui Hero Lalos, you're sending in your heroes kind of together. But check this out. He went ahead and broke open the wall just for the king. He wanted the queen to head off the other way. And you'll, and you'll see the value that he will be getting from that queen. Already sniped uh, two out of the four air defenses. And we do have a hound loon, uh, that, or at least a hound, coming out of the CC. And you'll see we do have one heal, two rage, four haste, and two skeleton spells uh, that he will be using for the flight portion. So he went ahead with this queen, he took out the air defense and also took out the archer tower that was just to the right of the town hall over there. But pre-dropping down those three haste, uh, starting with two hounds to go ahead and tank uh, that first air defense as the, the first one, the first hound always pops so fast because of that inferno tower being locked onto it. But the loons come in, they haste right in there, followed by the rage right there in the core. They're gonna one shot that inferno tower uh, and they're going to clump up on the air defense. Has another haste up there at the top at 12 o'clock. Just keeping these loons nice and close to the Lava Hounds uh, to do some awesome tanking. Still has a heal spell left to deploy. Even has another raid spell in the core. That's where he went ahead and dropped down those two skeleton spells to take out the enemy Archer Queen. And there goes the heal spell ending on two Wizard Towers. Uh, it's usually a no-no, but when you have a heal spell, not going to matter. Those loons are going to go ahead and take out that, that wizard tower. It's gonna come kind of close. He has plenty of cleanup, uh, but it's gonna come close. Luckily, the hound was tanking right in the front. Gonna end up swagging the hound. Isn't even gonna pop on that one, but all defense is down. We'll go ahead and times, uh, we'll go ahead and times for this one. Robbie absolutely loved the attack. So we hear Lalo, that's what happens, you guys, when you're running hounds in your CCs. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the two 11-11 three stars that we have this war. This one coming from Sinos, dude is red hot. 
pretty much says uh, 11 v 11 in each of our three, uh, the, each of the three rounds that we have been in so far. So we'll go ahead and check out how he's gonna go ahead and take down this base. Uh, and doing it, I mean, you gotta stick with what works. Doing it with Queen Walk Bitch. Uh, starting his queen over here at nine o'clock. She's walking down, goes in, drops the warden behind her, and just used a, a baby dragon uh, to funnel her in the direction he wanted her to go. Uh, so good value there. Wall breakers down, and this is the compartment that she's pretty much going to be charging into. Uh, and here comes the bowlers and the witches uh, over on the flank at six. What he does is he wants them to walk up, keeping everything inside that core. And, and also while taking out some defenses from over the wall, even a bomb tower on the outside of the wall, uh, probably to prevent uh, something like this, but not gonna matter. He's gonna have more than enough to get through this base and have that flank stay up. And you'll see Warden and Queen still going strong, still has all three hero abilities, and he's almost or he's rapidly approaching 50% already. And you'll see now those healers, now that the kill squad and that charge have kind of met up, healers peeling off of the Queen. And look at them just just ripping through uh, this base right here. Uh, and like I said, that flank's still going strong down there at the bottom, uh, but still with that Warden ability, still with that Archer Queen ability, and still has a heal spell left to deploy as well. They'll just make their way around this base. Um, and like I said, Sino's killing it with this attack right now, you guys. Look at how many bowlers are inside of that core right there. There goes the heal spell as they were approaching uh, the enemy Archer Queen as well as a few other defenses. Um, but yeah, he's still he's still, he's still still hanging on. Uh, pretty much gonna be swagging the rest of these hero abilities, you guys. Uh, we still have an, what, an Inferno Tower up, a Wizard Tower, not gonna matter. 5,000 bowlers are inside of this core. There goes the Warren ability. Went ahead and popped the Queen ability and they will be saving the best for last, uh, which was the Town Hall right there in the core. Huge shout out to Sinos getting it done. Next up, we have, this is the last and final attack coming uh, from this recap. This one coming from Agent. And on this one, he's gonna be doing a Sui Hero Lalo at the uh, Town Hall 11 level. So here we go, Queen is down. She's gonna go ahead and take out a couple of these buildings from outside the wall. Look at how exposed that enemy Archer Queen is. Uh, clearly, once he pops ability, he will be able to take her out uh, with, uh, with no issue. So there we go, Queen on Queen action. His queen wins, even goes ahead and picks up that wizard tower as well. And what he's gonna go ahead and do now is drop down that king, uh, just to tank a few of these defenses. Uh, go ahead and take out that Tesla from outside the wall. And here comes the hay spells, you guys, pre-dropping five hay spells before he goes ahead and starts the flight portion. Hound's coming in uh, at 11, at 10, and even um, over at nine, or over at about 9.30. But there they go, they're gonna be clumping all they're going to be all clumping up on that air defense right there in the core, just above the town hall. Raid spell down to go ahead and push through uh, the wizard tower and the expos. Uh, Grand Warden ability was popped right there in the core. And you see that inferno tower chasing uh, that lava hound. It pops, but he had another lava hound to go ahead and tank that air defense. Uh, and look at how many loons he has up right there in the core. And you'll see they are inside that uh, the Grand Warden's aura, giving them that additional... Uh, buff in HP and he, over here two of these expos you guys are both I mean they're both on ground the only thing over at the three o'clock section of this base that can do anything to his loons is the air defense but when you have that many loons left up not going to matter you guys are gonna one shot that archer tower which was the last building to go down even swagging even swagging that hay spell you guys beautiful war uh, huge shout to everybody over in uh, USA incredible war getting the victory you guys 146 to 138 was the final huge shout to everybody over in team usa i pre-recorded all of these attacks right now we are warring uh the team or the clan representing uh the united kingdom and ireland so stay tuned that is a very good war you guys very, very good war stay tuned to the channel uh, i'll go ahead and upload uh the attacks from that war uh, as soon as it ends. Huge shout out to everybody over in CEO Japan. I don't even know if they've advanced, if they haven't. I think they might be warring somebody else. But yes, we advanced into the first round of the playoffs. Uh, we went two, we were two and one uh, for this round. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for the video. Wish us best of luck against UK and Ireland. 
Um, but that will do it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And of course, this is Riggs. I'll see you guys in the very next video.